Jim McElvain with Optima Batteries here with a Group 24 battery and the Optima D34M. So this is a Group 24, this is a Group 34. Obviously you can see the dimensions of these two batteries are slightly different. Uh, what we have here, this uh, Group 24 is 11 inches and this uh, Group 34 is just over 10 inches. Width are almost identical and then the height obviously, um, this Optima is a little bit under 8 inches and this one's about nine and a half inches. Weight wise, the Optima weighs in at 43 and a half pounds and this Group 24 weighs 46.3 pounds. So uh, very similar in that regard. Reserve capacity on these batteries. This one is rated at 140 minutes. The Optima is rated at 120 minutes. Um, cold cranking amps, uh, which you may not use that often in a marine application, but we're gonna use it to uh, load test these batteries. The Optima battery is rated at 750 cold cranking amps or 870 marine cranking amps. And this Group 24 is rated at 550 cold cranking amps and 690 uh, marine cranking amps. So uh, even though the Optima battery is a little bit smaller, has a little bit less reserve capacity, uh, it's rated at far more cranking power. And we're going to find out um, how close these batteries stack up to what they're rated at. They're both brand new batteries. I've had them both on a charger just to make sure they're completely topped off. I'll turn this load tester on. You can see this measures a little bit above 13.4 uh, volts. That's a surface charge because it's been on a charger, so it'll probably remove the surface charge. But I have it here at 550 cold cranking amps, and it's a standard deep cycle battery. Get a load test here. It's going to remove that surface charge. So rated at 550, it measures 698. So a little bit better than what it's uh, rated at, and you would expect that of a battery. The Optima battery rated at 750 cold cranking amps. And I've got that connect connected now to the load tester here. We're going to do a battery test, and this is 750, and you can see 13 and a half volts is a little high. And again, it's a surface charge because it's been on a charger. So 897 cold cranking amps, even though it's rated at 750. So significantly above uh, what it's rated at. And the great thing about these Optima batteries is they have pure lead, 99.99% .99 pure virgin lead. That allows them to minimize the amount of corrosion that forms in the battery. And they accept current faster and deliver current faster because all Optima batteries have cast lead straps across the top. What you typically see from a flooded lead acid battery like this one is a tombstone welds. And that's a, that's a point uh, that connects the cells that is a point of restriction and doesn't allow the current to flow as well. That's, that's why this battery that's even though it's physically smaller than this one, weighs even a little bit less, has far more cranking amps available, uh, marine cranking amps, than, than this, this larger battery. And, uh, what you'll see over the life of the battery, because uh, these batteries typically use recycled lead, uh, all the Optimas use pure lead, is you'll get a uh, better cycle life over the uh, lifespan of the battery. We say they can last up to three times as long as a traditional flooded battery. So um, you should meet or exceed the OE requirements for your application in terms of uh, whatever is important, whether it's marine cranking amps or reserve capacity. Uh, but once you do that, um, you don't have to do overkill, but know that this Group 34 D34M Optima battery is more than capable in the vast majority of applications of filling in the gaps 
and replacing this uh, group 24 battery if, if you're running a group 24 battery.